So today I'm talking about a C0050 code, what it is and how you could go about fixing it. And so what is a C0050 code? Well, it's a right rear wheel speed sensor circuit. And so what does this mean? Well, each wheel on a vehicle is going to have a wheel speed sensor that's reporting back to the computer how fast that wheel is moving. And the computer can use this information for different things. For example, the anti-lock brake system. The computer can use this wheel speed information to adjust the anti-lock braking system. But when you get this C0050 code, the computer's seen a problem with one of these wheel speed sensors, mainly the right rear wheel speed sensor. And so it's going to be troubleshooted to know why. And one thing to note about this code is that there can be subcodes, which can, in some cases, help you find out what the problem is. For example, right here, this 18 is going to be a low signal amplitude, which means that the signal is really weak or just erratic or something like that. These subcodes can be manufacturer specific, but if you do get a subcode, they can sometimes help you find out what the problem is. And so what would be some possible causes of a C0050 code? Well, the first thing that could cause this is that that right rear wheel speed sensor, that it's gone bad and just needs to be replaced. There's some different ways to go about testing these wheel speed sensors. There's some good videos on that. I've made videos on that. I'll put a link in the description box below if you want to check that out. But the first thing that could cause this is that that wheel speed sensor has just gone bad. The next thing that could cause this is that the wiring going to that speed sensor, that there's an open, there's a short, there's a blown fuse, something like that. So if you can, you can't go up around those wires, check to see if you see any damage or anything like this. You can also get a multimeter along with schematics and check the wiring because the next thing that could cause this is that there's some kind of issue inside the wiring. Then the next thing that could cause this is a bad reluctor ring. Inside of that axle is what's called a reluctor ring and that's spinning with the wheel. Every single time one of these notches is directly in front of that sensor, that sensor is going to be able to pick this up and report that information back to the computer. But if that reluctor ring gets damaged for some reason or there's some kind of issue going on with it, then that sensor is not going to be able to read those notches that's inside of it and then that's going to cause problems. So if you can, you can remove that wheel speed sensor, shine a flashlight into the hole, spin the wheel, and check to see if there's any damage on that reluctor ring, because the next thing that could cause this is a bad reluctor ring. And the last thing on the list is going to be a bad ABS module or actuator, and this isn't going to be too common. Usually if something like that module goes bad, you're going to be getting a lot of other codes. While it is possible that it only gives out one code, usually when one of these components go bad, you'll be getting a lot of other codes. Like you'll be getting a lot of wheel speed sensor codes and different things like that. But the last thing on the list is going to be a bad ABS module or actuator. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the C0050 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.